guys welcome back i am what was that i am back with another empties video i know my last one wasn't that long ago but it was out kind of late so i'm trying to stay on top of it this year and this time i did not plan it but it is actually all k beauty products so who doesn't love a little bit of k beauty empties i cannot talk today Whew, let's just get right in shall we so the first one is kind of an old school one. The first time I used it was probably like five or six years ago when I took my first trip to Korea and it is the Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. So it comes in a 100 gram jar. You can usually get it for about $10 or so online. So really affordable. It is good for all skin types except possibly sensitive skin because it is a physical exfoliant and it also does have added fragrance. The main ingredient is Brazilian black sugar that naturally contains a lot of vitamins and minerals which are really good for your skin and then also shea butter and macadamia oil so it's got quite a few really nourishing ingredients for being uh, exfoliant the packaging super simple just a normal screw top it doesn't have any like excess packaging it is as it is and the texture is obviously quite grainy it is a physical exfoliant although the granules are sugar so they do melt down quite easily on the skin it smells to me absolutely amazing it smells like sugar and caramel like really sweet which is totally what i am about but i will note it is added fragrance so it can be irritant for those of you who are sensitive to fragrance it is paraben alcohol and mineral oil free and the ph is around 5 to 5.6 so they recommend using this kind of only when necessary once a week i would say twice a week max i probably don't even use it that often i might use it like once every two or three weeks so the way to use it is on damp skin never use it on dry because it is quite grainy and then if you find the grains are quite strong and you just want to go for a gentler scrub they recommend mixing it with some water or a toner i actually like mixing it with my cleansing oil so on a day that i'm not actually wearing makeup i will mix some of this with a cleansing oil and then give it like a deep cleanse mask i'll leave it on for maybe like five minutes they recommend 10 to 15 but since i am using a cleansing oil i just leave it on for five and then wash it off honestly it leaves my skin feeling really really smooth really silky but not dry and i think that's the reason why i keep going for it because it's a scrub but it definitely doesn't leave your skin feeling irritated or like over exfoliated and still nourished at the end it is definitely one of my favorite physical exfoliants and whenever i come by it i am going to repurchase it's just such a good buy lasts forever and it is a very gentle exfoliator <laughs> <laughs> let's just move on the next one is the thank you farmer sun project light sun essence in spf 50 plus so this one is 40 mil tube and it is about 30 dollars online it is good for all skin types although it does have added fragrance notable ingredients are aloe leaf extract lotus flower water and soybean lipids it's really nice and moisturizing and soothing and it also helps the skin barrier as well it's just in a normal kind of easy to squeeze tube the tip is fairly thin i actually like how thin it is i think it's like easy to apply and it kind of doesn't blob out everywhere if you get what i mean the texture is like a light lotion kind of emulsion like texture that spreads really easily and it also does absorb quickly too it doesn't leave any stickiness but it does leave like a bit of a glow to your skin it does have a really light apricot fragrance it may seem stronger to some people because i have a really bad sense of smell so to me it is kind of like a light fragrance but some might feel like it is a bit strong and it is paraben and mineral oil free obviously when to use it would just be in the am and as the last step of your skincare routine and then reapply whenever you would like do really like it because it is quite moisturizing for a sunscreen although it said that it is good for all skin types but it definitely is like quite moisturizing so if you have kind of oily or combination skin you might feel like it is a little bit too much because i have drier skin and it still is like a little bit like Ooh, it's there if you get what I mean the good thing is there is no white cast and for me it doesn't leave stickiness but it does leave a really nice glow so I do like that but it is quite a small tube I think for the price how much did I say like 30 35 it is only 40 mils which I will go through this super quick and I feel like it's a little bit of a steep price for the amount it is in the BRTC Centella Seeker Derm I have mentioned this many times and I actually went into depth on my best of skincare 
skincare 2019 so i will just link that video and put it in the icard if you want to know a little bit more about this it is has been my favorite secret balm so far and then another product from brtc the v10 multi lift sleeping pack so this one is in an 80 ml tube and it is around 35 dollars on yes style they didn't really list what skin type would be best suited for it but from my opinion i would say normal to drier skin types is probably what i recommend probably not for those who do have oilier skin so it does have ingredients like centella asiatica sea buckthorn fruit extracts which soothes and strengthens skin and then it also had 10 different types of vitamins literally every vitamin you can think of like c e a b5 b12 and so on and it does also have peptides so it helps brighten your skin and it also helps the elasticity of it it actually comes with little capsules in it so the capsules like contain the ingredients and then they burst when they are like applied to your skin which is kind of nice because it doesn't mean it's all kind of wasting away while it's in the tube and it actually like delivers it directly to your skin so I do like that the capsules are not like noticeable at all you can barely like tell they're there you can see them and then once you apply it like disappears straight away it does have like a nice sweet citrus smell personally i really like it it's really fruity like orangey and it is paraben and alcohol free so you can use this every day and you can actually use it in the am and the pm even though it is a sleeping mask it is a really nice cream i really did like it spreads so nice it makes my skin really plump bouncy glowy like really nice i did really enjoy it and i definitely can use it in the am as well i still prefer to use it at night because it is quite a thick like richer cream but it sat under makeup fine um for those drier days it definitely worked in the am as well it just leaves the skin i don't know really nice and glowy you can kind of see that but it doesn't feel sticky like it has no stickiness to it so Super nice. And with overtime use, I feel like it kind of helped brighten my skin. I don't know, it might be like the glowiness to it that I just thought my skin looked brighter, but I felt like it did kind of contribute to brightening my skin tone, which is really nice. The only thing that I kind of have to say about it is the packaging. It's in like an aluminium tube, which is nice because it doesn't really allow air and kind of UV to get into it. But the more I used it up, the outside kind of like labeling started peeling off. It peels off onto your hand like whoa that was a bad one it started like flaking and coming off onto my hands so it was quite hard because i would squeeze it and then i'd get the packaging on my hand and then i'm like oh i can't really apply this on my face because i'll get all this stuff on my face so that was a little bit frustrating and i feel like i couldn't quite use up to the last bit because it was just starting to get real messy still really liked it hopefully they update the like outside packaging and that would be a win-win what does that even mean? I don't even know what I mean. Next, I'm going to kind of introduce these together. It is the Cosrx Acne Pimple Master Patch. And then the Next Care blemish clear cover sorry i only have like this of the next day it actually comes in a box they are both hydrocolloid i can't say it hydrocolloid dressing pimple patches the cosrx one is about five dollars and it comes with 24 patches in three sizes and then the next care ones it's like 26 patches per sheet and then it comes with like four or five sheets in a box so it's like a hundred and something patches and it comes in two sizes and they are i feel like around six or seven dollars a box I actually got these from my friend when she visited korea i asked her to buy me these because in korea it's so cheap and they just sell like bulk boxes at olive young and stuff but they're essentially the same thing obviously this one has a lot more in it money for value i think you definitely get better value with the next care although i will say that cosrx definitely stick better on the skin they don't come off as easy they really do adhere to the skin well although somehow <laughs> somehow to me i feel like the next care ones work better it might be because i'm very biased and the first time i ever tried pimple patches it was the next care one so i was like oh my god this is magical and they are a lot better value so if you can get the next care ones i would definitely recommend them it's really good for pimple that are either really deep down and you can't really do anything about them yet pop it on and it kind of helps um, reduce it and kind of fight it before it gets to the surface and then with other people that almost look like they're about to come to a head it helps draw it out a lot quicker which I prefer I am a pop that 
that pimple let's get rid of that like straight away i really like that it just draws it out and like makes a process really quick i think most of them say like two or three days or whatever but for me it can sometimes literally be like overnight like i'll put it on next morning it's like ready to go and i'm like yes thank you <laughs> if you've never tried pimple patches before they definitely help get rid of them in a hygienic way so recommend both of those and then the last product is actually a makeup product and it is the McQueen waterproof pen liner the label is completely off there's literally nothing on it so you can't really tell and it is in the color deepest black this is never more than ten dollars on your style I think when I bought it was like seven and then the least I've ever seen is like four dollars you can get it for so freaking cheap it is a really nice thin brush tip it is not felt it is a brush just as I like it. Really, really flexible. The color is very opaque and a dark black and it lasts all day on the lids. I will say it can smudge a little bit. It's not like completely budge smudge proof, but definitely one of the better ones in lasting power, but also the actual liner lasts so long. Use it almost every day for probably like three months or something and it lasted absolutely forever. If you haven't ever tried this, seriously, like when you're making an order on your style, just grab one. It's so worth it. They also have a deep brown which i would totally buy but really really good quality for the price you can get the mcqueen eyeliner depths i recommend i actually recommended on my insta story recently because i was like yeah this is like one of the best i've ever tried that's it folks i hope you enjoyed the empties hope you're all staying safe and staying in i honestly have not gone anywhere in such a long time but i am just so content i love being at home anyway i will see you guys in the next one bye Ooh, nearly Ooh, ooh.